Hey, how's it going? It's Sally Eslin here from Sylvan Powered Lifestyles. So let's get into our card reading today on Saturday, the 5th of October, gaining some clarity, insight and direction about where we're going. And let's just put in the usual question, what do I need to know today? Please show me the way. But of course, if you have something particular, you want to gain some clarity, insight and direction around, just bring your own question because you never get a wrong card. The, the answers are always there, no matter what your question is. So I thought, as always, let's just kickstart with a bit of the growth card and let's get some clarity, insight and direction around that. So how's your weekend been so far? Here, it's pissing down with rain again and hailing and cold. And so I put a warm jacket on because it has been so cold. So let's have a look. It says, what could I spend less time doing going forward? What can you cull that's not uh, giving, bringing you joy, keeping you on your path, direction and purpose? What is it that uh, is draining your time and your energy? Because there's lots of distractions around at the moment. There's lots of the heavier, darker energies trying to drag us down. So, you know, uh, stay in your lane, stay with your focus and clarity towards your end goal and anything else can you can cull. So what could you spend less time doing going forward? Where can you cull some of the things that are draining your time and energy? All righty, let's get into the believe deck because, of course, your beliefs, your thoughts become your reality, so what you believe you become. Let's have a look at this one. It says, am I suppressing my intuition? Ooh, the answers lie within you, not outside of you. So, you know, like, Follow that inside, follow that energy, that internal knowing, that internal guidance. Because when you get into your head too much and not trusting that gut instinct, that's going to lead you astray. It's going to take you off, of course. All righty, let's have a look at Diamonds Within. Ooh, how's your day, evening, afternoon been? I've had a busy one. I did a workout, walk before the rain, and then it started pissing down. Alrighty, here we go. I am feeling so good about money and it's astonishing how much is flowing easily to me. Now, I think this is the second or third time in this one week that this has shown up. So once again, you know, your value is very much linked to your finances and your value is linked to how you value yourself. So when you're feeling really good about your money and really good about yourself, it's going to match that equal energy and it's just going to flow. So I'm feeling so good about money and it's astonishing how much is flowing easily to me. I think I was saying during the week with my girlfriend, Nick and I, <laughs> we walk by the beach and we see the green of the water. And we go, that is just oceans of money. It's just there. It's just floating around. Once, of course, you get that relationship with money in a good spot like you know money isn't evil remember your beliefs about money can also be very much influenced by the the beliefs that your parents had so growing up you know you had to work hard not work smarter not harder you know that times have changed and back in the day with our parents and their parents the way that they were brought up and their um beliefs around money can be instilled with us and it's time for us to revisit them and, you know, wipe the slate clean and repurpose our, our um, relationship with money because otherwise we're going to carry that through and it's going to affect us. So we want to get rid of that. So Bling Boost, let's see what it says here. You can what? It says, ta-da, you can say yes to something you actually want. Yes, put your hand up and say yes, please. And I say this the other day as well. So, you know, you're out there, you're drowning, you, you can't do everything and I don't know if you can remember seeing this image of a hand above water and someone's like drowning in the hands up and it's like, yes, I actually need help. So it's actually very empowering to accept help when you need it. So you can say yes to something you want. All right, I think we need a little bit of inspiration because it's the weekend, it's Saturday. Let's see what comes up here. It says, ta-da, you can't read the label from inside the jar. Okay, when we're in the middle of stuff, we can't see clearly. We're caught up with the emotions and the drama. But when we step outside of what's going on and look back in, then we can understand from, um, from a better perspective. So when we're inside the moment, we get caught up particularly with the emotions and we can't see clearly. So you can't read the label from inside the jar. You actually have to step out. Here's the jar here. When you're in the jar, you can't read the label because it's on the outside. So you need to take yourself, remove yourself from the situation, look back from a higher perspective to see what's going on. I think we might need a little bit of gold light. Here we go. A little gold light deck. Let's just see what it says. Shuffle up. Okay. It says, these are very empowering words. Oh, oh, my gosh, that was either yesterday or the day before. I am strong. I am strong. I am here. I am woman. Hear me roar. Right. Woohoo. 
Okay, little uh, recap here. I am strong. That means you've got the comf confidence, the courage to step up, step forward and to be seen. So let's have a little recap of what's coming through. What could I spend less time doing going forward? Where can you cull things that are draining your time and energy that are taking you off course towards your bigger goals, right? Anything that's draining your time and energy that's not in alignment with your values. That's always a good sort of measure to see, is this in alignment with myself? A, a little... Uh, tip is that when you're making decisions you say am I going to respect myself after I choose to do this or not because you know you're respecting yourself is it in alignment with my values that's always a good sort of check-in am I suppressing my intuition am I following that niggle inside am I following the energy within me or am I getting caught up in my head I should do this I should do that because we can get so caught up with I should I should I should but when you change those little couple of letters out, SH to C, I should to I could, it's making you more empowered because you're making an informed choice when you could do this, whereas I should. That's more from a place of guilt and shame and lower level emotions. So, yeah, when I could do something, well, then that's a choice and, and you're choosing whether or not to do it. But when you should, that's more in a situation of, oh, Put it placing on yourself this this guilt oh i should be doing this oh like bugger that energy that's so much the old way we're stepping into the new way okay this card from diamonds within is i'm feeling so good about money and it's astonishing how much is flowing easily to me because you got got over those old limiting beliefs and the, the old stories that are attached that have been carried through from your parents and their parents whatever when you revisit those and realize that they're very limiting then you can actually release those um the, the connection to the past about money un uh what's it called unshackle yourself from that so that you can be free to just go with the ease flow and grace of money flowing in because it's astonishing how much can flow easily to you when you let go of old beliefs that you've been hanging on to Alrighty, bling boost you can say yes to something you want you absolutely say can say yes i would like I would absolutely love that. But also you can say yes to I am actually <laughs> choosing to have some help here. Rather than drowning, don't be selfless in the martyr, just put your hand up and say yes. Actually, I could do with some help. That's also I see that often with really strong, capable women and um, they can do everything. But at the end of the day, it's at their own toll, if you like. So, yeah, put your hand up and say yes, I actually do need some help. And that's a strength too. You can't read the label from inside the jar. Sometimes we have to step away to see the perspective from the outside, not the inside, because sometimes we're too caught up in it and we can't see things clearly. When we step out, take a stop, a pause, and look in and go, ah, now I get it. Right, this is what needs to be done. And remember at the day, at the end of the day, you are strong, you are capable, you are there's nothing more attractive than a confident person that's standing in your strength, feeling very empowered. That's a solar plexus chakra. Self-empowerment, you that's your strength, that's your confidence, and that's your courage. So with that, I'm complete. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you again tomorrow or Monday. See you later. Bye.